Hello, my name is Wayne Johnson. I'm the host of the Wayne Johnson Show. I have a special guest here, uh, Lanetta Bell with the Gulf Coast Adjusting Academy. And so it's an honor to have you on, Miss Bell, today with us. And I know we're going to have an exciting show. And so, hey, we're just ready to get into it. And so we're ready to get started with our show today. I'm excited. We've been trying to get this interview in. It's been a little hiccups here and there and all of those type of things. And so with no further ado, we just want to bring you on and uh, let you introduce yourself to our audience, our viewing audience. So just uh, take it away. Let's let's jump into it. Hi, my name is Lynetta Bell, and I am the president of Gulf Coast Adjusting Academy, which is a completely 100% online um, academy where I um, have a program to train or assist individuals that are interested in the uh, career of being an insurance adjuster. Um, we have two career paths. There is a 20 hour course along with a 40 hour course. Um, the difference between the two courses is there's limited um, types of claims that you can handle by taking the 20 hour course. And of course, with the 40 hour course, you can handle any type of insurance claim or occurrence that happens in the state of Alabama. Wow. Uh, like you said, that's, that's awesome. And so let's get into our first question. And so those things, what you were saying, I mean, I never knew anything was available like that. You know, can you tell us about uh, how you got started? Um, well, actually, I kind of stumbled upon the career. Um, I was back in 2008. I was working for um, a large German steel mill that was located here in Mobile. And um, I became a casualty um, by the decision to consolidate some of the positions. Um, I was yeah. working in the HR department, and when they decided to consolidate some of the positions, you know, um, like I said, I became a casualty. I was a single mom, uh, had just purchased a home, and I had to find a job pretty quickly. So shortly thereafter, I think about six months after I um, after I lost my job and had exhausted all my severance pay, the BP oil spill happened. And um, when that happened, that was in um, 2010, um, and my my job ended in November of 2009. But uh, 2010, the BP oil spill happened, and I was kind of thrust into the um, catastrophe. Of so I worked up so for five months, and then the yeah, command the center command where I was working relocated to um, Baton Rouge. Well, again, being a single mom, I couldn't just uproot and take my son along with me. So when the deployment ended in October of 2010, um, I just did what all of, all of my colleagues um, They simply walked across the street to a company called Pilot Catastrophe. And um, that's how I got introduced to insurance adjusting. So I got a job with them, the processor, and, and um, later got my, my adjuster license, and I just never looked back since. Never looked back. Single mom. And, and and just seem like, you know, just by ch happen chance, you know, and I always tell people, you know, things that happen, you know, just because they're happening doesn't mean that, that they're going to turn out, you know, detrimental. Sometimes they look like they are, but, but like you said, that opened the door for you to do what you are doing now and you never look back. You know, can you tell our viewers more about what you do and um, what do you, th what do you, what do you think set you apart from others? in this industry and, and being a, a role model and, and coming from a platform of what a lot of single moms are looking for opportunity to become wealthy and successful to get an entrepreneur mindset. So talk about those things that motivated you, that, 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 that sets you apart to be and to do what you're doing now. Well, um, um, so, so um, what I do, what let's do, do let's do that first. That first. Um, um, so, it, so what we do what is we handle, we handle um, insurance, insurance claims, all types, all types. 
um, the environment of which we do things like the BP oil spill, there was an explosion that occurred a couple of years ago in Louisiana. Um, I worked on that as well. So environmental, um, what's called catastrophe, which is the hurricanes and the flood events, and the tornadoes. And then you have daily flight, um, which could be like a Say someone's house can be on fire, or there's a yeah. slip and fall in a grocery store, something like that. Um, there's auto plane. Then there's like the, the brush fires that occur all the time in California. So just by obtaining the original uh, home state license in Alabama, you can have an yeah. opportunity to work playing other states. However, you have to purchase have to licenses, licenses for those states. Okay. So, how, how, uh, much does, uh, go ahead, how much does go ahead? How much does it cost to purchase a license for for another state if you want to work in that state? So it varies. So, it varies. Um, um, so to get so started, to, get started um, um, to take the course through the Rough Cost Adjustment Academy, Academy, there are two, there are two courses. courses. You have to the twenty-hour course is three hundred dollars. You're limited in the type of clients that you can handle. The 40 hour course is $350. That license gives you the ability to handle um, um, aviation claims, um, marine claims, homeowners, uh, commercial claims, which would be the big, the big businesses, um, environmental, auto, flood, and workers' comp and crop claims, like if something has a farm. And cattle. So, so, so once you do the, you go through the course. Is it the? Do you have a mentor, uh, some hands-on training that that you can contact somebody personally, ask questions about this to give some guidance once you finish the course before you go out into the into the field to start, uh, you know, working on your own, or you just, you know, how, how does that talk about that? Is uh, any assistance there to to help us, you know, through that transition of coming out of the classroom and going into the workforce? So I have started offering online mentoring courses because um, I was attempting to do it individually, but it was pulling away from my time for, for doing, implementing other courses that I'm attempting to implement in other states. Um, yeah. Right now, we're in Alabama, but we will be bringing live Florida, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. So, so we went to the um, to the online courses, and I offered them in a three part series. The first series that were on the venture did not really commit to getting a to adjust the book, but we were inquiring about it. Uh, the second phase is for people that have actually gotten their license but have less than two or three deployments and only have two or three. Licenses, and then the third um, level of the mentoring is for people who have at least three licenses, at least four to five deployments, who just want to find out how to make the more marketable. Right. Okay. Wow. Great. So, so once we get the license, once we go into the market, how do we enter into the insurance market? We're like Alpha and all these different insurance companies. How do we get our name on the list that's being uh, approved, unadjusted, that can be used by these uh, these insurance companies or being, you know, to get on the the working list? I could say that. So um, one of the things that I offer, you asked earlier about what sets me apart. Um, yes. Um, once the students go through my course, I consider them to be my children, my family. So they're kind of sitting with me until they feel Wow, me. come on now. Here we go. <laughs> until they feel I love me, it. They no longer need my assistance. So I, once they complete the course, I walk them through the fingerprinting process and um, helping them complete the application to get their license. Once they get the license, I give them a short list of um, rosters to get on. 
And then I also support an extensive list of over 200 companies that uh, they get on their rosters. Because the more rosters you're on, the more chances you have for getting the course. I also suggest free courses for them to um, get certifications in, which also increases their probability of likelihood. And then um, I post about jobs that become available because I have relationships with um, two to three different companies um, that are always hiring. And I have a sister company. Um, I have an adjusting firm. I don't have active contracts right now, but they are in the work. I have been approved to be a uh, FEMA supplier vendor, which means that when a big catastrophe occurs and FEMA um, staff is needed, I have been approved to staff those positions. And I'm also in the work with uh, about three different carriers to also supply adjusters to work for the FEMA catastrophes. Wow, that's great. Wow. That's that's awesome. I'm I'm excited. So uh, yes, wow, great. So let's go to our uh, third question. What are the requirements to becoming an adjuster? You only need to be 18 years old. <laughs> that's the only requirement. It's got to be more than that. Come on now, 18 <laughs> years old and go do the online course. Go through the course. Um, however, a lot of people ask, well, I may have a, a little tarnish or a blemish on my background. Well, that does not necessarily discount you or dis disqualify you from becoming an investor. As long as there has not been any type of money laundering or anything that does with fiduciary um, issues, then you can still get your adjuster's license. Wow. Okay. Great. 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 I love it. I love it. So let's let's break for a, a, a short uh, commercial for our sponsor, and uh, we'll be right back. And so it's, it's just some great information. I'm telling you, I, I've never heard of this before, and so it, it's just fr something fresh, something great, and so I'm so glad to be a part of it. So here we go. Let's break for our Princess Creative Productions is a full service creative agency. We offer over 20 different services in video production, photography graphic design, websites, marketing, live audio production, and more. Our knowledgeable staff can take your idea from concept to reality. Need help taking your business to the next level? Contact Princess Creative Productions today at 251-378-8044 or visit us online at princesscreativeproductions.com. Hi, we're back to the Wayne Johnson Show. Special guest, Miss Bell, with us here today, uh, the Gulf Coastal Justin Academy, and she's giving us some insight on how to make over a uh, hundred thousand dollars a year with the online course, a twenty-hour course, and the forty-hour course. And she was telling me also that the only qualification you have to be eighteen years of age, and uh, some other things that that will not be a, a a showstopper in you beginning to change a career, changing changing some things financially in your life and being one of the ones that will step out and become a great entrepreneur in the insurance industry by becoming an adjuster. So, wow, that's awesome. So we so glad to have her here, you know, and so I talked about a little bit about 100K. Well, how much do an adjuster earn so we can get a little bit more insight about that earning and, and, and which is a great inspiration for a lot of people. <laughs> Take it away. Give us some information there. So um, there's two types of adjusters, staff adjusters. Those are the ones that are directly, I'm sorry, employed by um, big companies such as Allstate, um, State Farm, Progressive, um, Alpha, and so on. Staff adjusters earn on average um, about 65000 a year, but they also have benefits. Okay. And independent and adjuster, adjuster, which is the course that course I train for and certify you in, um, um, you, can make you, can make over, you can make you can make over you can make you can make six figures, make figures a year. You can actually you can make actually six make figures, figures in a season. In a season. So, so you, you are your own boss. Yeah. You choose you when you and where you want, want to work. Want to work. Um, um, 
And if, and if let's just say like just last say like year, like Hurricane Ian in, in Florida. I know people that know made, that um, made um, over a hundred thousand dollars in four to six months. Back in 2017, when Harvey, Irma, and Maria occurred, I myself was on a deployment um, for a half month and made $96,000. I left that deployment and went to uh, do Puerto Rico claims. Um, however, I was stateside. I was in Florida. I was making 1600 a day. So it just varies. Oh, it just and it depends, it depends on the certifications on that you have. That you have. And I'm big right. on, um, on um, um, suggesting, um, suggesting certifications, certifications so that you can so be more marketable. Be more marketable. But, but I mean, I mean it, just limit. Limit. it just depends on, depends you know, on how much you want to work, you want to work. Um, um, how long you want to work, if you want to work year round or if you just want to work seasonal. But yeah. It's easy to make over a hundred thousand. I I have friends that work at Harvey and Irma and in a one and a half year span made four hundred thousand oh, dollars. Wow. Hey, look here. I think of you maybe one of your students. <laughs> well, we love to have you. Yeah, I'm telling you because well, you know, I, I I did some work. I worked offshore for four and a half years, so I have some uh, as a safety coordinator, and then I was a supervisor for all of those years. And, you know, so working in a, in that environment, you know, so uh, you know, wow, it's it's amazing, you know, that all these opportunities are afforded to us, but we never hear about them. You don't we, know we about never, them. Yeah, we don't know about them. We, you know, information is being hid, but but here by the grace of God, you know, um, you know, through Sister Princess Miller, you know, I was one of her first first customers, and so she was just telling me about some people that need to be interviewed, and so man, and so here we are, and, and now I see why the, that we were it was so many little steps trying to get to the interview, but thank God for you today, and, and it's so great to to have you on set today, and and so. It's awesome. And so here we are talking about these things. 18 years of age. Here you are. You got the 20 hour course. You got the 40 hour course. And then then you can get some additional certifications that give you credibility to put you on the list so you can start working for Alpha, all these major insurance companies. And then mm -hmm. it, it determines whether you want to work part time, you become an independent agent. And then therefore you create uh, an environment, a seasonal environment or part time environment or full time environment on how much you want to make, how successful you want to be. And so with this doorway open, you know, why has it been hidden from a lot of people? Talk about that a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, the way I, 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 um, I um, rationalize, rationalize it is, is, you know how you people know how don't people want don't you want to do everything them. them. So a lot of people so don't share information. But my thing but my is, thing what God is, has for me is strictly for me. What God has what God for the next person is strictly for them. You can't take what has my name on. Um, and someone had to help me and, and guide me into the direction. So that has been my mission to help someone else. Well, I, I, I'm telling you because really, really, it's, it's, it's having a lot of people. So we, we talked about all of those things. We talked about the salary. We talked about the, you know, and so we talk about being set apart. And then, like you said, you came from the background, being a single mom. And then all of a sudden, God opened a divine door. You, you could say, I, I mean, I know he did open up this door. And then one thing fell through and, and that created a doorway. And I tell people all the time, everything that happens in your life that that think you may be that creates a, a, a problem may be the answer to something else. Yeah, Until that I, problem yeah, came. I firmly, yeah, go ahead, talk. I firmly believe that uh, it was past uh, time for me to move on, and I wouldn't move. So God just pushed me. And when He did, the door that I walked into was so much wider and so much bigger than the door I came from. Right. So you had any college background or just high school or uh, uh, talk about that a little bit? Myself? So yeah. I, am, I am one semester away from having my bachelor's degree. 
but um, I started making this kind of money. I just never went back because the income that I make, I make just as much as I would if I had, if I was working in my um, degree field. I do have oh, yeah. in uh, computer networking, and uh, my my uh, bachelor's was going to be in human resources. But like I say, I make and adjust, and then um, I would if I had completed my, my degree. Okay. So I got a question. So when you start making all this money, so talk about uh, so you, you, the handling, the taxes, and all of that stuff. You have to have a CPA for for handling all your finances, keeping it with all. all. I do because a lot of uh, expenses. It depends on what type of job you're working. If you're working a W two job, then um, you know just do your normal taxes. But if you're traveling, like I did for five years, um, a lot of my expenses I was able to write off, and a lot of those jobs were ten ninety nine jobs where no taxes were coming off. And I okay. do have I do have an LLC which I encourage um, independents to get so that you can write those expenses off because I have yeah, okay. an office L- pay for and uh, you know my printing and all that stuff. So you have the LLC and then you also have the CPA that's being able to write off some business taxes and then also all of your taxes and, and your paperwork in order because why yeah you know <laughs> you don't want to make all this money and then get in trouble because basically you're self-employed correct right when right, you're doing right. the independent right. adjuster side and then so right. here you are so you right. got to have some discipline there but yet and still in the skill set that you're running into now you begin to come into a market you know you're building your brand building your name credibility by what you're doing and you know and i always tell people I, you know your attitude can be an asset or a liability and so right. we want to create an environment of success and so right. when you're around right. successful people their attitude now becomes your attitude. Their brand now becomes your brand. And, and, and so I use this analogy sometimes, you know, like the Dolly Parton Bridge. Why build another bridge when that one's working, you know? And so if you're around people that have built a, bi- a bridge of success, just follow that bridge, follow and follow them across and just go walk back and forth across that bridge and it'll take you to the destination that they made in life for success, mindset, and the ability to cause change because what when you come into change people in your circle begin to change because why now information always create an avenue of change in our lives and so that's that's awesome yeah go ahead go ahead no i was saying i was agreeing with you absolutely absolutely yeah and and so so here we are so so we're coming into it to a place where stepping out you know, the Lord had to kind of nudge you and poke you because you were in a, a nest that was comfortable and people always hate change. Everybody hate change because why? Change is the unknown place. Exactly. And so so it's a lot of uncertainties there. But when we're crying, you know, like not crying, but praying to God and saying, Lord, you know, show me the way. Show me what I can. Show me. Let me see what I can't see. You know, I, I know I want more. I know I want to change my life. I know I want to change the path that I'm on, the career path. I know you have some things for me. But but sometimes fear grips up so hard that we won't step out of the boat. We won't step into the water because the water is deep, is unknown. But then God nudged you and pushed you over in this place. And now you're in your wealthy place. You know, you're in your transitional place. You, you, you know, you're the grace of God is upon your life. And like you're saying, you're reaching out, bringing and giving to others as the Lord has given to you. And, and, I, and I think that's a great, great path to, to travel. Because when you give, more shall be given unto you. Right, right. Wow. And, and it can uh, it can change entire families. Um, I encourage I encourage um, fam- mothers and fathers to get into the, introduce it to your eighteen year olds because college is a favor. Why create a, a huge debt of student loans when you're only going to please mom and dad? You know, um, find something that you enjoy. And this, and this particular, particular um, uh, field will allow will for you to travel. You travel. You see, you'll, you'll see the, see the, the you know, the, see the states you know, somebody else has died, died while making wow. great money and having good experience. 
Are you making great money? Wow, that's awesome. So I got a little video here I want to show about, uh, it's about leadership. And uh, we'll come back and we'll finish up our interview. Man, awesome information. Back to the Wayne Johnson Show with Miss Bell here, <laughs> the Gulf Coast Adjustment Adjusting Academy. You know, and you see people walking around being adjusted. They got all of these things, and, you, and and I always thought about. You know, you think about how do these people step into these jobs? And now here we are. We have an uh, affordable program, a 20-hour program, a 40-hour program that gives you the ability to transform and change the legacy of your family and those coming behind you. And also, I mean, this this business is so huge, it's, it's all in the 50 states. And so, man, legacy, over six-figure income. When you determine that you want to do something and do something great, God has opened up a door through our interview today. Man, I'm telling you, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic because why? What she's beginning to show us today about 18 years old, you know, I'm quite sure they got some other qualifications. But when you begin to, the first qualifier is having enough faith to believe in yourself that God has put somebody like Miss Bell on this interview today with me <laughs> to let you hear her, her plan that she started out with struggling. Then God nudged her and moved her over into another place. And all of a sudden, that was her wealthy place that God had opened the door for. And man, I'm just so excited today about what she's given me, what she's given me. And I'm going to give it to some people that I know that begin to become, uh, take advantage of this, of the 20 hour, the 40 hour. And so like she's talking about, she, she's starting a class also to mentor people that become part of her program. Because she said, once you become part of the program and go through it, you become more like one of her kids. So she, she's committed to, to reaching out to you and That's begin right. to help you be successful. And so if you have her mind, when you do, when you know what she knows and she, and you let her teach you what she knows, you can do what she do. You can be successful just as she was. So, uh, Miss 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 Bell, uh, it's it's been a privilege and an honor, and I just want to let you uh, uh, close out today with closing remarks that you want to. What would you say to somebody that's 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 just on the on the fence and don't want to get off? You know, talk about that point where where, where you know the Lord push you off and, and encourage them to to do. So what you I, would say, so I would say I would say do your research. research. Um, there's all kind of information out there. Don't be afraid because. Um, like every job, every job, you know, once you take the you training know, through, take the through, through um, um, Gulf Coast Adjustment Academy, Academy, don't be this, don't, don't be afraid, afraid to to, um, to um, take a job with a, a, job a company with because company. you're gonna have to be you're trained to be everywhere, everywhere you go because, you go because although a policy is a policy, there are different operating systems and each carrier has a different way of handling their your clients. So you're gonna be trained by every by company every that you company work, that for. work for and then and you then don't necessarily you have to travel for just COVID has, COVID has brought on so, so much change where you can where actually, actually work from home, from home. Uh, in the comfort yeah. of your pajamas if you like um, um, you know, um, um, during cat season, there's long hours working um, seven days, 12 hours. A week. But I, I tell you, the, the um, income that you will make 
it will be so worth it because whenever the hours do go down or whenever you whenever the deployment ends yes you know if you manage your money right you can go three to four months and not have to worry about um finances. yes oh wow and, and so wow that's 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 awesome because see i have been looking you know to uh, actually to lord to you know to give us give us people that 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 are you know that that dive into topics that we care about the most you know bringing you know a mix of thought-provoking interviews from the brightest minds in the industry you know you know whether you're looking for something new or gain a different perspective here on this broadcast today was some information that's life-changing really that is. will change that will change i'm talking about generations okay. and i'm so excited that the lord gave me the opportunity to uh princess production creative production and um you know gulf coast adjusting academy today miss bell and so man this is not going to be the end of what we're doing because why god has opened the door for me through my tv broadcast and through my podcast and through doing these interviews to educate people to let them know hey it's a plan and a perfect will for God for you. We thank you, Miss Bell, for being a part of the interview today. God bless you and have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.